Music streaming has emerged tremendously over the last decade and is now used by virtually all artists to distribute and share their work. SoundCloud remains as one of the top platforms and is a great place for artists and podcasters to grow their following. One of the most important things when it comes to creating a successful SoundCloud page is having the perfect SoundCloud banner which is relevant to your brand. First impressions count so it is important to design your header image properly in order to grow your page. Hey, this is Nick from SnapBun. In today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a SoundCloud banner photo by repurposing some free custom templates suitable for your page. So let's get right into it. So what you'll want to do first is make sure that you have the best SoundCloud banner size so that your image is optimized for SoundCloud's guidelines. The recommended SoundCloud banner photo size is 2480 by 520 pixels. You'll also want to make sure that your image format is either a JPEG or a PNG and that your file size is under two megabytes to meet the platform's requirements. To make things easier, I'm going to be using Snappa to create a SoundCloud banner photo. Once I'm in, I'm going to navigate down to headers and banners. I'm going to click on SoundCloud banner, which already has the preset size. I can now choose to create a SoundCloud banner from scratch, or I can choose from a variety of different free templates that Snappa offers. To start, I'm going to choose this feature template and customize it to my own liking. Once I'm in, I can begin to customize my SoundCloud banner. I want to keep the header image as simple as possible so that my design can be seen on all devices. It's also important to note that you'll want to keep any design elements or visuals away from the left side of the SoundCloud banner, since this is where the profile picture will be placed on desktop devices. So for the particular design I'm going for, I want to be promoting an album that's releasing in September. So I'm going to go ahead and edit some of the text here. So I don't need as many text boxes, so I'm going to click on this text box here. I'm going to click delete or the trash can up here to delete the layer. I'm also going to delete these lines at the top here and at the bottom. Now for this text here, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to extend the text box. As I reposition it to the center, I'm also going to double click on it and edit the text to the date of choice. So say my album is releasing September 30th, 2020. I'm going to tease a date by saying 09 30 2020. So this way when users visit my SoundCloud profile, they'll see a date and it'll pique interest and hopefully they'll follow along and keep updated if they like my music. So once I'm done repositioning and centering the text to my liking, I'm going to navigate to the left side and I can either choose to change the font style. I can also choose to change the font size to a font size of choice. So in this case, I'm going to decrease the size just about to about 130. I'm also going to reduce the space in between the text. So letter spacing from 19, I'm going to make it about 10. From here, I'm going to make sure that once again, the text is repositioned, center to the graphic and use the guides. I can also click on the color picker and change the color to a red or any color of choice that may be my album's theme. But in this case, I'm gonna keep it as white and actually change the background to a background that's a bit more relevant to my album. So to change my graphics background, I'm gonna to navigate to the backgrounds tab on the top left here. From here, I can either choose a photo from the photo library, that's a free stock photo library that Snappa offers. I can also choose a pattern background that Snappa offers. I can upload my own image, or I can choose a colored background. So typically for album art or cover art, you'd wanna choose a photo that maybe you took or a professional photographer took. In this case, say we don't have one and I'm looking for a photo that is in New York because that's kind of the theme of the album. So I'll search for New York in the photo library. Once the search populates, I can scroll down and click on a photo that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this photo here. Once the photo is on the canvas, I can click on the reposition button here. And from here, I can either scale in or scale out of the photo. I can also click and drag the photo up and down to reposition it to where I want it to be since it'll crop. So I'm gonna leave it at this. And once I'm done with all the adjustments, I'm gonna click apply. So just like that, I already have a SoundCloud banner that I like. 
Um, one more alternative that I could do is upload an image, which I highly recommend. So in this case, I'm going to navigate to the Uploads tab on the left side of the menu here. And once I have an image in my folder, I'm going to go ahead and click and drag the image into my photo library. Once it's uploaded in, I'm going to click on it. And same idea, I can click on the reposition button, I can scale in, scale out, I can move and drag it up or down to my liking. In this case, I kind of like how the lights are going left and right. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click apply. And now that I'm happy with the SoundCloud banner, I'm going to rename it in Snappa. So I'm going to call it album banner. I'm also going to save it into Snappa so that I can make changes in the future. And finally, I'm going to download it to my computer so that I can upload it into SoundCloud by clicking on the download button. And I'm going to click it and download as a Retina JPEG for the highest possible quality. So for this last example, I'm going to show you how to create a SoundCloud banner that is super minimalistic and does not require a photo. I've seen many SoundCloud banners that are a simple colored background or a simple pattern background. Since you don't want to put too many words onto the banner or else it'll be cropped or difficult to see on certain devices like mobile devices. So to do this, I'm going to navigate to the backgrounds tab once again. I can either once again choose a colored background if you want to just keep it super simple and have a brand color and export it this way. But in this case, I'm actually going to go to the patterns background. I'm going to scroll down and find a pattern that I like. In this case, I'm looking for more of a gradient one. Once I found the pattern that I like, I'm going to click on it. I can do the same once again and reposition it and scale it in, scale it out until it fits my liking. So I can keep it super minimal and just export this pattern background. But I actually want to add my record label logo in. So I'll navigate to the graphics tab this time. And I have already uploaded my logo into Snappa. So I'm going to click on uploads. I'm going to scroll down and click on the logo. So once I click on it, you'll notice that it appears onto the canvas. Now I'm going to resize it and reposition it to where I want it to be. Once again, on the right side of the graphic so that it displays properly. Once the logo is in, I'm going to click on the text tab. I'm going to click on add a subheading. From here, I'm going to drag the subheading to the side. I'm going to write records. I'm going to right align it, increase the size to about 60. And I'm also going to change the font style to the font style of my choice. Once I found that, I'm also going to increase the letter spacing just a bit so it's a bit more spread out. Change the font color from black to white. And I'm still not super happy with the size, so I'll increase it to about 75 so that it's a bit more prominent. And now I'm going to reposition the text under my logo so that it says Snapper Records. And once I'm happy with that, I can simply rename it like we've done before. And I'm also going to save it into Snappa for future modifications. And then once again, download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest possible quality. So to upload your SoundCloud banner, you'll simply need to log into your account. You'll click on your profile. Once in, you can update your image on the side here. So we'll click Update Image. You can delete the image that you have, or you can replace it, which is what we'll do here. Once you click Replace Image, your Downloads folder will open and you can navigate to the photo that we downloaded from Snappa. Once I've done that, I'll click open up and your banner will preview onto your profile. You can either scale your banner in or I'll leave it zoomed out so that it's placed perfectly. I'll click save. And just like that, we have a totally brand new SoundCloud banner that's perfect for our profile. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up since it helps a lot. If you guys want more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel as I'll be continuing to make more and more videos on how you can grow your social media. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.